tutorial, I'll show you how to push Docker image to AWECR through a GitHub action. I will create a private repository in ECR. I can go to the Amazon ECR and the repository section and create repository. Take note of the region you are creating the image in. For my case, I am in US61. For this demo, I'll create a private uh, repository. The name of the repository will be ECR Web Image. I'll use the default settings and then I'll create the repository. That's it. This Docker image repository is now available for pushing our Docker images. I have a sample code repository here with a Docker file. For this demo, I'm creating this Docker image from the base image of PHP with Apache server. And uh, this copies everything in the web folder to the public HTTP uh, path of the Apache server. And then it exposes the port 80 from the container. And then it starts the Apache server in blocking mode instead of the typical uh, daemon mode. Uh, this is pretty basic. Now, for the build to happen using the GitHub action, I have added a GitHub action here. I have specified a trigger for every push on the master branch. Then on every push to the master, it starts the build using a Ubuntu latest image. The first step that it does is it checks out the GitHub repository then we configure the AWS credentials, which are required for receiving the ECR authorization. Let me show you how you can create a AWS user with the required permission. For creating the user, you need to go to the IAM service in your AWS account. You need to go to the users, add new user, Let's say for this user, we are calling it GitHub. Since we want to receive an access key and secret, we want programmatic access for this user. For the permissions, I'm going to add a policy, existing policy from AWS, which has at least ECR write permission. For our use case, this existing policy with EC2 instance profile for image builder, ECR container builds should be sufficient. Once you have the access key and the secret key, for the newly created user you need to add those keys and the secret to your secrets in your repository for that you need to go to the settings page of your repository then go to the secrets i've already added the access key and the secret key uh, for this demo uh, but you can add a new access key you need to specify the key name and add the value here, then add secrets. So going back to our original GitHub action, the next step will take care of logging into Amazon ECR and receiving the authorization and configuring the Docker client on the CI. In the next step, you need to specify the ECR repository name in this case, it will be ECR web image. Then the Docker build command will take care of building the Docker image with the uh, image tag, which will be the SHA of the commit that we are building. Once it is built, we will push using the usual Docker command to the repository. For this demo, I will make a small change to our readme to verify if everything is working as expected.
okay so the changes are pushed to our github repo the changes have triggered the github action the build is working we logged into the ecr the build is happening It should have pushed the image on the AWS ECR. And there it is, the latest image from our latest commit. There is one more thing that I want to talk about that is lifecycle policy. In ECR, each repository has some limits on the number of images that you can hold. And you are also charged on the uh, size of the, your docker images what life cycle policy allows you to do is create uh, rules for the life cycle of the repository for example i can create a rule here which will automatically remove all the images which are like two days old And this should run on any images and since they are pushed two days. So this policy will ensure that any image which is older than two days in our ECR web image repository will be automatically deleted. That's all for this tutorial. Let me know if you want to know how to deploy the ECR image on an EC2 instance, ECS cluster, or EKS uh, Kubernetes clusters. Have a good one. Bye.